Yeah, thank you, Vincent, for this uh, introduction. And together with Leo Dijkstra from IBM, I'd like to take you in the, into the energy uh, world after all these uh, financial uh, discussions. Because um, we're living in very exciting times. We're living at crossroads of, on one hand, energy transition and moving to a sustainable world, and the, uh, the, the vast opportunities that uh, digitalization uh, provides us with. And really, the, the use case that we'll show you and what we'll discuss here is, uh, is on the edge or on the crossroads of two, uh, these, two, these two areas. It's good to see that a lot of you already know, uh, know Tenet. Tenet is the uh, transmission system operator, a company serving uh, both in the Netherlands and, and Germany. It is uh, state-owned. Um, it's over 20,000 kilometers of the, uh, yeah, the high-voltage cables that we see uh, all over the country. Uh, we serve over 40 million uh, end-user customers uh, through these through grids. And uh, we have a fast investment portfolio in assets still, uh, some 25 billion euros over the next 10 years, uh, which is also used to connect all the, uh, the new wind farms on, uh, on the offshore and the north sea and, and north of Germany. Then it's got three major role, roles. One is the transmission service, which is really managing the, the grid, those 20,000 uh, kilometers. The other is system services, not so much known. It's making sure the system is kept at 50 hertz. I'll go more in detail about that, because that is the crux of what we do. And third is market facilitation. By today, people can trade energy from Finland to Italy on day ahead intraday markets, and this was not a possible uh, uh, some 10 years ago. So use activities on the market facilitation as well. If I look at uh, system services, something that not many people know is that at any given moment of time, the demand and the supply in our electricity system has to be equal. If not, we have a blackout. We have experienced some blackouts in California, some, some, some cases, and, and, and the key role of Tenet as a, t a transmission system operator is to manage this, uh, uh, this balance. And we, uh, yeah, we, we use the big power uh, stations, the gas-fired stations. If the system is short or long, we ask people to, uh, yeah, to turn up or to turn down the, uh, uh, the, the, the production. Now, the system operations is uh, due to massive change, because in the past, the entire system was very predictable. A couple of big power plants, a centralized system, we did know what the consumers did and the, 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 the business. And we are moving to a, to a new future where the market is completely unpredictable. Uh, we are interconnected to, to other markets. It's going to be a weather-based systems. We don't know if the sun shines or if the, if, if the wind will blow. And all these on the real time, or very close to the real time, needs to be, needs to be uh, matching. Especially the consumers that were consumers will turn into prosumers. They will deliver uh, power, they will store power in batteries in their cars or in their households. So how to keep the balance between demand and supply in this very system? And that's where the technology comes in, blockchain. We are currently running pilots both in Germany with a startup company called Zonnen and in the Netherlands with Vanderbron, uh, based on the uh, private blockchain uh, hyperledger uh, framework. Uh, to, to, to balance the grid in the Netherlands and to, uh, yeah, to, to manage the congestions in, in Germany. I'll hand over to Leo, who will show a little, bit, a little bit more about the cases, and we'll end up with a, a very small film that summarizes the whole thing, and which hopefully uh, yeah, demonstrates you how yeah, the, the, the beating heart of the energy system can be disrupted, can, can, can be game-changed by this new technology called, called blockchain. Leo, if I can hand over okay. to you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, René. Um, as Weber Dreyer already said this morning, uh, clients are not asking for blockchain. They are asking for solutions. And that's actually what we uh, deliver together with uh, Tenet van der Bron and uh, Zonnen e-services in Germany. Um, and we're going to show you an example of what, what this looks like in practice. But let me ask a question first to you. Who came here, apart from Vincent, by electric car today? That's quite a few already. So, who of you would like to earn money with that car while doing nothing, while not charging? Sounds like a good idea, right? So here is how that works. Meet Freek. Freek is an enthusiastic millennial, uh, pretty successful, has a nice Tesla. 
and he decides to join up for this idea, a great idea. Um, and he signs up with uh, Van der Bron, one of the suppliers that makes this possible. But why does he do this? Well, he wants to join a collective, and he wants to earn money, to be honest, but he also wants to support a green environment to enable the introduction of renewables into the system. Um, how does he do it? He opens the Van der Bron app, he signs up for the service, and he selects the device that he wants to work with, his car or his uh, home battery. After onboarding, he plugs in, just like normal, when he gets home, and then he, uh, the car does something that he doesn't see. Uh, it writes to the blockchain how flexible it can be on behalf of Tenet. That baseline is written to the blockchain, so it's visible to the parties that need to know. And if Tenet is uh, experiencing um, uh, a drop in production, then Tenet can ask the community, these cars, to temporarily stop charging. Just for a couple of minutes, the, the driver won't notice when he's at home watching TV or doing something else. And the car writes that signal to the blockchain again. In the morning, what happens? Freaks just unplugs his car, just like always. The only difference is that he can see what his car did during the night, for instance, or during the evening, and how much money he earned, actually, with that car. And he drives off happily in the morning. Now, why did we do this with blockchain? Um, not just because we wanted to let the consumers earn money, but it's actually a way in which Tenet unlocks a whole new pool of flexibility that they couldn't reach before for their uh, system services. So that's the reason why. And why is that necessary? Because they need this flexibility, because the traditional flexibility pool is getting smaller and more expensive. And that's the bill we pay each and every us, uh, every one of us. So renewable energy can be further introduced. There's more flexibility in the system, so more wind generators and solar panels can be introduced that are intermittent in production, and therefore the cost to society reduces. That's the case. Now at IBM, uh, we support this uh, through uh, the use of Hyperledger, which is fully open source, it's openly governed, and it's an open ecosystem, so it's not just IBM, there's many partners involved in developing the Hyperledger as open source under the Linux Foundation. We build this trusted environment, because that is what we need here. We are working with trusted suppliers and consumers, and we enable it for business. So we enable it to scale, to be fully secure, uh, in order to make this business case feasible. And to sum it all up, we've got a short movie clip that will summarize the, the use case. It is not just power generation that is changing due to the energy transition. So too are consumer habits. Consumers are becoming producers, as many of them generate electricity themselves and feed it into the grid. Transmission system operators must react flexibly to this volatile feed-in of renewable electricity into the power grid and to the increasingly complex energy consumption behavior. In this context, blockchain technology offers a unique potential for the entire energy sector. It supports the secure and fast exchange and storage of data. As a consequence, end users will help to keep the grid stable. With two groundbreaking blockchain pilot projects, Tenet is now setting a revolutionary milestone for the energy supply system of the future. Allowing Tenet to integrate flexible capacity of household batteries and charging points of electric cars. Thus, the blockchain network acts as a virtual power plant. In Germany, Tenet, in collaboration with Sonnengruppe, is integrating decentralized battery storage systems into the energy supply system. A network of domestic solar batteries is operating via the control center of Zonen e-services to constantly adjust the intelligent charge management of the batteries to the respective demand in the Tenet network. In a second pilot project in the Netherlands, Tenet, in collaboration with Van der Bron, uses the capacity of car batteries to help balance the grid by interrupting or reducing the battery's charging capacity and feeding the energy into the power grid instead. 
the increased use of data and greater flexibility provided by blockchain technology help to reduce stabilizing redispatch measures, such as the expensive cutdown of wind turbines in Germany. That means, in the future, we will no longer have to waste wind power just because we cannot transport it. In the Netherlands, the use of blockchain technology helps to make sure that not only power plants will steadily maintain the balance between production and consumption. Now owners of electric vehicles can also help to keep the grid frequency at 50 Hz. Both pilot projects are the next innovative step in shaping the energy environment of the future and in giving consumers the opportunity to actually contribute to the energy transition. Tenet, taking power further. Okay, thank you. Well, that was a good... Uh, uh, well, my first question, I don't know how many questions are there. Thank you. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> how much money can I earn? Um, first of all, we, we do this first implementation yeah, with, with two I, companies. I want to be a volunteer. I mean, you can take yeah, but my then you have to talk to the retailer in this case. So, so we do this pilot yeah. with a, a retailer, yeah. but the ambition is to have it as a first implementation. Uh, Tenet is a company that does not discriminate between all the market parties. Yeah. So we'll open up for all the market parties once, once the concept is proven. And it's up to the retailer to decide how much money he would like to give. And the retailer is Van de Bron. It's Van de Bron. But it could be up this to one. hundreds um, of euros. Could Let's put it that way. Hundreds of euros yeah. per year to yeah. basically do that. Depending so how much this balancing like the And this is just balancing the frequency, right? I mean, yeah, when you go to balancing, you know, just really the actual kilowatt hours, there's a much bigger market to no, be no, explored. No, no. We integrate the balancing market from these, these wholesale and retail markets are being integrated. So the, it, it, today, tenants can only procure balancing servers from the larger power plant, the gas yeah. stations. And these guys are a monopoly. There's less and less of them, so prices go up. By untapping now these decentralized battery sources from cars or home batteries, yeah. uh, we can lower the societal cost of balancing this grid. Okay, so that will be very interesting. Now, how far are you with implementation? You know, just Quite far. We are, uh, or maybe you want to talk about yeah, actually, this is a very concrete case. Uh, we're currently uh, developing the, the software and testing it. It's in the testing phase now. I think Germany is slightly ahead of uh, the Netherlands, but at uh, the beginning of this autumn, we'll actually have live vehicles and batteries uh, balancing the grid. So it's a very concrete case. Yeah, yeah. Yep. it's interesting. It, there's a question here. Is this like an eco crowd net? Question free. Who asked that question? Um, no, it's not. It's different from an eco crowd uh, crowd net. There but is. They're balancing the web the net with the, the, with the power wall, right? Yeah, from the, Tesla. They don't balance. There's only one party uh, in the Netherlands that is responsible for balancing the grid, and that is Tenet. Okay. So the value of balancing the grid can only be shared by Tenet. Uh, we could make that money available for, for 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 consumers having cars and solars. There's still a wholesale market. Again, also on this wholesale market, we see limited parties trading, uh, the big, big trading companies, the big energy companies. Okay. And we see more and more peer-to-peer -peer initiatives and other blockchain initiatives whereby people can tap into the, 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 the value of the wholesale market. Yeah. Leo, why? I mean, you, you have also a little database company, right, inside IBM. You know, just a teeny little database and about half the companies run on it. Why not just use a nice little database for uh, that. Why do you need to go through the effort of doing this uh, with uh, this blockchain thing? It's a trust that blockchain enables. Tenet can now for the first time trust that these cars actually did what they were saying they were doing and that nobody tampered with it. That's the key to yeah. this implementation. Yeah, trust is built in. Yeah. You don't have to put a whole lot of all kinds of processes to verify that that yeah. car really yeah. did what he did. What the car exactly. rides to the blockchain directly cannot be changed. Yeah. Yeah. It's there forever, that, that information, yeah. and also what it actually did. Yeah. Uh, it rides directly to the blockchain, so it cannot be tampered with. And Tenet knows for sure how much money to give to that uh, aggregator. Okay, yep. wonderful. Thank you very much, Leo. You're welcome. Good luck. Thank you very much.